Letter A. That's the letter A. Then we do A for Ian. Hey guys, do it on a dime family here. So I want to show you Carson's toddler workspace. He's 22 months old. The problem was my budget was $10 for everything, but I actually stuck to my budget. Let me show you guys and how I organize it, plus how I'm getting some free and super inexpensive resources for toddler play. So here is our dining room area, and over here is his new workstation. And the key to it was this little table. I found it at the Goodwill for just six bucks, and it was pretty scuffed up. It had a bunch of crayon on it, but I just took a magic eraser to it and it came right off. This little stool you can find at Walmart, it actually folds up and it's just the perfect height for this table. And this was already on hand. I also already had these galvanized tins, but you can get them for a dollar a piece at Michael's. And I'm just keeping things like chalk, crayons, and popsicle sticks in here. So this storage ottoman is where the resources go. It's just for learning time when we're working together on stuff. But something I loved are these little baskets. You can get peaches in these at the grocery store and I always save them. It makes an amazing caddy like for expo markers. The teacher in me loves those. And this little divider you can find in the kitchen section of like Walmart. I think I found this one at the Goodwill, I'm pretty sure. I love these baby wipe containers. I think you can fit pretty much any fun resource you want to play with in these. Puff balls, I've mentioned these before from the Dollar Tree. You know, sticking them in like wipe containers or even practicing like sticking them through here like this. He loves to do stacking them, sorting them. We have like these little containers that are all different colors and sizes. And then these little ice cubes, which you can find at the dollar store in all different shapes. These are great for sorting, stacking, counting. Next in here is this little chalkboard that you guys saw from my haul I got from the dollar store, hence why we have the chalk in here. I also find a lot of coloring books at the Dollar Tree. This was actually a gift to Carson for Easter from my mother-in-law. And then you can stick in different pieces of paper and then you know you can wipe this off with the crayons that you use. But you can do the same thing with sheet protectors if you don't have something like this or just even by simply laminating it, it gives you the exact same effect. We also have Carson's leaf tablet in here. This is just a little computer, like different letters and stuff. Um, he really likes to play with this as well. I got this from the Dollar Tree. This little label is also from the Dollar tree and inside are some learning resources that I printed off recently I did a collab with JDA on organized kids spaces I'm gonna link her channel down below she's fantastic free resources that you can link to from her YouTube videos here we're working on the letter a and you would think like a 22 month old I don't know wouldn't have a concept of letters but the more that I do these, he's actually getting it. Like he got to the point where he could recognize the letter C and he was seeing it in other places just from doing these really simple activities. And again, these are all from JDA on YouTube, completely free activities. Something else that he really loves, again, that I also laminated, just are these little cards. They're like matching cards like this and you match them up and then we talk about um, you know, the animal and then the number. I don't think he's really recognizing the numbers quite yet. It's more about the animal, but he is able to find matches. These little magnetic letters, he got these for Christmas, but you can find similar things at the Dollar Tree, you guys. This is just an old cookie sheet. And then I put all of the magnets on here, the alphabet. There's lowercase letters in here, but we're just working on capital letters for now. He loves playing with this at the table and it's really, really easy to hide back here when we're done. I could build this little center. It's a designated spot that's for learning time and I just make it fun. Carson is so excited to sit down here and play. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below, whatever you're doing to help organize a space so they can learn. God bless and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs>